Hello everyone, uh, speaking to you today from our living room, well halfway between our living room and our dining room on a break when the builders who are currently making a mess in this space are, are having their lunch. And I wanted to show you, I'll just show you that they're, uh, they're taking a wall out here so we've got a bigger space. I'll show you some of the fun so you can admire, you can see the fireplace at the end which has already been taken out, you can see the muck and the pillars and, uh, oh, and the enormous hole in the ground. You can hear that the doors are wide open as well. That's why you can hear the, uh, the motorbikes outside. Uh, I'm not showing you this so that you can feel sorry for me, although obviously we have lost our biggest living space in the middle of a time when we're not really able to leave the house very much. But I wanted to show you this because it occurred to me as I was speaking to other people about it. Now having this work done now in a time when we're not allowed anyone in the house and yet this work is being done to give us a bigger space to be able to host small groups, to be able to welcome people in and practice hospitality. Having this work done at the moment is in some ways uh, a small but defiant act of hope. It is taking our current circumstances and saying that I trust that God is not leaving us here in a place where we're in lockdown, where we're not able to have people come in, where we're not able to gather. I trust that God is going to take us out of this and take us to somewhere new. I don't know what that will look like yet. I don't know how we will use this space, but I trust that God will take us there and that's what he's doing. I wanted to speak to you all about this uh, across the network because it occurs to me that actually that's part of what God is doing with us as a church. God is calling us into this time as a time to prepare for the things that we don't even yet know what they will be. God is calling us to do some of that internal work, internal in our hearts and within our church communities to say, God, what, how can we prepare now for what you will bring? For the things that we, we don't know what life will look like in six weeks' time, in six months' time, but we trust that God is at work. I'm not calling it, I don't think God's calling us to be uh, optimistic, to be just sunshine people, but to be hopeful, to be those who trust, who trust that God is at work even in these times and that God will bring us out and bring us into new things and will do amazing new things. God will rebuild and restore and renew. And so in this time when life is challenging, when we're in lockdown, uh, God is calling us to do some of that internal work, to be preparing, to be people who, even when it's not comfortable or easy, are doing these acts of defiant hope, uh, coming with expectation for what God is gonna do. So I wanna close by uh, praying a blessing from Romans, where Paul, writing to them, says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. May you overflow with hope, and may you find other ways, hopefully not with so much, so much building work, to do these defiant acts of hope and preparation for what God will bring us uh, in the coming weeks and months and years. God bless.